A web of wires crosses Australia's east coast, from Queensland to the Snowy Mountains, even underwater through Bass Strait. But this national electricity market is in crisis, unprecedented volatility triggering the market operator to seize control. This decision was made because it was impossible to operate the system under current conditions while ensuring reliable, secure supply of electricity to Australian homes and businesses. The market, used to trade electricity across the states, now on hold. The spot market usually makes it easier to match electricity generation to demand and get the lowest prices for consumers. Energy experts say retail energy users shouldn't worry too much. In the short term, there's no impact on residential or business consumers. Um, most businesses are under contract, and so in the short term, it means very little to our consumers. The energy market operator capped wholesale prices earlier this week after they soared to record levels. Since that price cap was implemented, we've seen a number of generators withdraw their availability from the market, which has led to it being impossible for us to operate. It's not just power stations refusing to cooperate. Basslink hasn't been exporting electricity from Tasmania to Victoria, although the undersea power cable is not broken and is still available to import power. Basslink have made a commercial decision not to export energy from Tasmania to Victoria whilst the administered price cap is in place in Victoria. That may have played a role in a predicted shortfall in electricity supply in Tasmania that was issued yesterday afternoon, but cancelled soon after. Hydro Tasmania says the forecast shortfall was because AEMO wanted to direct Tasmanian energy to Victoria. It says there's no risk to supply in Tasmania. I'm also advised there is no energy supply concerns in Tasmania and hydro storages are in a healthy position uh, for this time of the year. But Tasmania's exposure to the volatile national electricity market is worrying some. We have really serious concerns about Tasmania's participation in the electricity market at the moment, what that means for Tasmanian energy consumers. Labor wants the Tasmanian government to cap wholesale electricity prices, just like it did between 2017 and 2020. Labor tabled a bill in state parliament today to do just that, but without government support, it won't become law. The government says it's prepared to increase energy concessions for homes and businesses once the economic regulator decides the retail electricity price later this month. Laura Beavis, ABC News.